V180's Word for Today. Helping you live different every day. A broken and contrite heart, God, you will not despise. Psalm 51, verse 17. Brokenness leads to blessing. To receive a double portion of the spirit of Elijah, Elisha, who was a farmer, had to break and burn his plow. To demonstrate her love for Jesus, Mary had to break open her box of costly ointment and pour it over him. To defeat the armies of Midian, Gideon's 300 soldiers had to break their pitchers, let their light shine, and make themselves a target. The truth is, God has to break each of us in different areas in order to use us. You might ask, what areas? Well, bad habits, stubborn wills, inflated egos, evil thoughts, crippling fears, secret prejudices, misguided ambitions. The list is endless. And if you're facing east, you won't go west. So God has to turn you around. Sometimes that requires discipline. And it's you, not God, who determines the length of the discipline and the extent of it. No discipline is enjoyable while it's happening. It's painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. When facing discipline, some will collapse in tears whereas others will be defiant. God will do whatever it takes to break your habit of self-sufficiency. Paul writes, Now may God sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be preserved complete, without blame at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Notice that your body comes last in order of transformation. As a regenerate spirit-living In an unregenerate body, you will always be fighting the flesh. What's the secret of victory? Brokenness and surrender. The word for today, as featured in V180 magazine. Subscribe today at v180.org.au. V180. V180.